the scan bed and remove that protective piece in there. And next we're going to remove this piece of blue tape that's holding the paper tray. And then we're going to grab this notch up here and pull up the under cover. And right inside this cover is this cardboard protective piece and we're going to remove that. And then let's shut that cover. We will need to open it in a moment to install the cartridges. And now it's time to plug in the power cable. So I'm going to plug that into the slot on the back and then plug the other end into a power outlet. So the printer is plugged in and I'm going to power it on and wait for it to boot up. And when you now look at the touch screen, it asks you to select your language. I'm going to select English in my case. And now it wants to know your country or region. In my case, it is the USA. But so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tap Info and then tap Manual Setup. And it says that it is checking the printer. And now it wants you to install the cartridges. So let's go ahead and do that. And in case you want to know how to do that, there is a little animation video up here that shows you exactly how to install the cartridges. And to do this, I'm going to open that compartment that we opened earlier up. And open that up. And opening that up actually reveals the cartridge slots on the inside. And this is where we're going to install the cartridges. And this printer has two different cartridges the 65 tricolor and the 65 black. We're going to install the tricolor first. Now before you actually install the cartridge into the printer, make sure to remove this piece of tape which is on the bottom of the connectors and then grab the cartridge and insert it into the printer and then pull on this tab to lock it into place. And let's repeat the same exact step with the black cartridge. So let's insert that in there and then pull on this tab till it locks into place. That was actually fairly simple. And let's close the compartment. And on the next screen, it says, thank you for installing HP Instant Ink Ready Cartridges. I'm just gonna hit OK. So it's always better to do this manual setup before you go to your computer or your phone. And it asks you for printer update options. I'm gonna hit install automatically. And now it wants to know whether you'd like to share data with HP. I don't see any issues with this. I'll say allow HP to collect data and then hit continue. And now it wants to know where you're using this. In my case, it's just a home printer. And then it wants to know what I'm going to be using it for in the home. In my case, again, it's just personal use. And it says you've selected personal use and hit confirm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into setup and then scroll down to network setup. And it says that the wireless is on. You want to make sure that it's on and then go into the wireless setup wizard. And it says that it is searching for wireless routers. So let's allow it to do that for a few seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and select my Wi-Fi network, which is my home network, Vortex 5G. And then I'm going to hit OK and enter the password and then hit OK and wait for it to connect. And I know that HP doesn't recommend all these steps, but I actually recommend doing this to reduce your pain when setting it up using a computer or your phone. In fact, I try to set this up directly through my computer and phone without going through these steps. And I have to be honest, there were quite a few glitches. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the printer update, but I will definitely say that I do not recommend doing this directly through the computer or your app. I definitely recommend going through these few steps that I just showed you, and this will reduce the amount of aggravation you have when setting this up. So it says that the connection is successful. I'm gonna hit OK and then hit continue. And it says that it is checking my software needs. I hit yes. And it says that it is installing the network device. And finally, it says that the printer setup is complete. So your printer is now ready to use.